Mario. Hello everybody, it is me, Wow Much Justin, and today I have a special video for you guys. It's going to be acquiring all eight of the t hidden toys in Halo 2 Anniversary. This first video will be the first four, and the second part, will, as you can guess, will be the last four. The first one is going to be on the Mission Regret here. And obviously I'm horrible at this game because I just changed the sensitivity on this new account I made. It's not the same as the sensitivity on my regular account. But what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to come into this area. It's like the second area of the uh, mission. And uh, I'm doing this on easy just because it's easier to get through the missions and not die. And this elite just kind of stole this ghost from me. Yep, give me that. I'm going to kill him because we don't want people messing around over here. We don't have to kill everybody. I'm just doing it because I can. You know, I'm not doing this. Exactly. Yeah, screw you, Elite. Alright, here we go. Now, what you're going to want to do is... This part's easier to do in classic mode because of the way the geometry is. But you're going to want to come back here where you came from. You'll get a checkpoint right there, so if you mess up a few times, you'll be able to restart. Well, this wall right here, in Classic, it looks like this. And we're going to do the rest of this in Classic, but you're going to want to slide up. Because, you know, in Halo 2, Covenant vehicles can go up completely vertical uh, terrain for some reason. And you're going to come up here, but don't go off that ledge right there. Silly me, the first time I went to do this, I drove off that ledge like three or four times. Because if you go up at that real low angle, you're going to end up hitting the... You're going to end up falling off and you're going to hit your... Uh, fall, the fall timer is going to activate and you're going to die from falling for too long. And... Ooh, yeah, that's a close one. Well, once you get up there, you'll be at this long stretch of land. And in Anniversary, as you can see, it's really confusing looking because you look like you're constantly about to drive off the ledge. But just keep coming on through here. And just a word of advice, uh, once you get to the location, you have to switch to Anniversary to see the actual, uh, to see the toy itself. Because see, it's going to be right there. Now we're going to come down here, and as you can tell, you can't see Jack in Classic. Then when you switch to Anniversary, there you are, the first toy. And this, just in case I didn't already mention, this is on the mission Delta Halo. It's at the very beginning. It's the second area where you fight the race and you have to drop the bridge and everything. And uh, just follow that route I showed you. And uh, you'll get your first toy right here. Alright, welcome back everybody. We are on the second toy. This will be on. This is on the mission Regret and it is a Regret toy. Now I'm going to start from the very beginning of the mission because it's not even that far into the mission. It's like, it's just like the previous one, it's in like the next room. But uh, you're going to want to come through here. You may have to fight an elite, probably kill some, uh, kill some grunts. I like to clear out the area a little bit, especially the jackal snipers in the next, on these, oh wow, on this ledge here. Because you have to do a grenade jump. And I have the Feather Skull on, which is, just just in case I didn't mention it last time, the Feather Skull is highly recommended because you'll be able to, your grenade jumps and launch you a little bit farther and it'll take a lot less tries. Alright, so it looks like we got all the Jackal Snipers. We do have this annoying guy over here. Thanks, Marine. Yep, now he's dead. What you're going to want to do is you want to have a Plasma Grenade. Oh, and for the record, I do have the Bandana Skull on. But you're going to want to throw a grenade right here. I mean, you can do this skull, it doesn't really matter what mode you're doing in. I mean, a skull. Silly me. But you want to want to throw a nade here. Nade jump. You might not make it all the way across, but if you do make it right here, that's perfectly fine. But don't try to nade jump when it gets to the wall like this, because you're just going to hit this and fall off the ledge and die. You're going to want to come about right here where you're... And... Nade jump. And you should make it. Let's see? And that one's a really tough one to get. Usually you end up landing on this side, but I didn't throw a grenade in the right spot. But then you're going to want to jump up here. So what you want to do is you want to come to right there, throw a grenade right there, boom. See that feather skull makes nade jumping a whole lot easier. But once you're up here, 
just follow this area and then this little room right here boom you got your regret toy now I'm gonna pick it up this time I didn't for the Master Chief toy you do get an achievement for every toy you pick up see I got him. and it's gonna give you the achievement boom regrettable turn of events and the other one is so it begins for the Master Chief toy well I'll see you guys on the next mission for the next toy and we're back on Sacred Icon alright this is the f after you jump down the big uh, tube you jump down the littler tube when you go through that hallway and you come into this room where your covenant allies are fighting off the sentinel beams well this one's not necessarily hidden but it's it's not somewhere that people normally go now you're gonna want to come to the end of this room and you'll know you're in you're about to enter the right room when you see this dead brute on the ground right here oops oh yeah, I forgot I have the feather skull now you're gonna get right here and you're gonna see this ledge right here oh wow you have your sentinel beam and this you need to get up on this ledge right here and I'm gonna try to not get shot while I'm doing this alright so the best way I learned a grenade jump is where this box is right here just throw a nade right there and nade jump up now you're gonna be here there's gonna be that opening there this opening there and you get to the third one here let me get that and your toy as you can see is gonna be right there it is an arbiter toy and it is here on the mission sacred icon again rather close to the beginning but the next one on great on a uh, quarantine zone is at the very end of the mission but don't worry I'm not gonna make you watch the entire mission I'm gonna play through it and skip all the way to that part so uh, let's go ahead and grab Arby here and get our achievement very nice very nice all right I'll see you guys on the next mission alrighty everybody <clears throat> here we are again for the fourth toy of eight in Halo 2 anniversary this one is gonna be on the mission uh, quarantine zone and I skipped through the majority of the mission because I wanted to basically uh, no you keep the energy sword sir I wanted to make it to where everybody could not have to sit there and watch me kill everything but uh yep here we are basically I decided to start at this gondola ride just because the gondola gondola ride is uh, fun for me I mean I know a glitch here I'll show you guys a glitch there is a glitch to where you do not have to fight at all during the gondola ride you just gotta, oh, oh, is this a nade jump? Yeah, it's a nade jump. Nope, oh, that's a horrible nade. And the nade disappeared in the living zone. Alright. Really? I just did some pro nade jumps earlier, and now I can't even nade jump into a glitch. There we go. So all you gotta do is you gotta hop up here. Literally walk up this path, which is weird because you're clipping through it. And when you get to the top, you're gonna fall into, onto this beam. Now the flood cannot see you up here and that just means they can't kill you but I'm not gonna stay up here because it's not fun just watching me stand in one spot and watching my elites die I really don't think that's interesting in any way shape or form so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and actually play and while I talk and I decided that since this is just it's literally a five minute uh, gondola ride this is how all the speedrunners have timed it, and I'm going off their times because they're insanely accurate. But, uh, basically, I'm going to use this time here to update the channel before grabbing that last toy, which is in a really, really easy to find spot. But, uh, yeah, right now I'm just going to kill some flood. But, uh, the channel updates that I decided that I will be uploading more than one video, and I'll be starting and working on more than one series at a time because one video every or two videos a week at uh and having it just be a playthrough of ODST I'm not gonna get very far because that's I mean ODST is ODST but uh the reason I'm doing these toys is because I know a lot of easter eggs and glitches within the within the four titles that are included in the Master Chief collection and even though a lot of people have already posted them on YouTube I feel that you know why not just throw my content out there whoa yeah the weird mechanics of this gondola ride sometimes it changes where your crosshair is like that 
But it's not all that bad. It's worse than anniversary, believe it or not. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I cannot see. There we go. Got him. But this gondola ride, it's not hard. Unless you're on, like, legendary. The only time I would use the glitch and feel right doing it would be on legendary heroic. Because the, your elites will die very fast. And then you have to fight all these flood on your own. But, uh... I decided to equip my elites with energy swords, so that way they'll be a little bit better in combat. And one thing that I noticed is that with the feather skull in this game, you can actually kill Flood with melee, which in Halo 2 you can't kill him with melee unless it's the energy sword or the brute shot. Which I think is kind of cool that now if you weaken, weaken him up enough, I mean you saw me do it a minute ago where I killed the Flood with the shotgun by meleeing him. But, you know, I'm using a shotgun, so chances are I'm probably going to be shooting them to death with my shotgun here. Now, the gondola ride goes by a lot faster when you're just slaughtering up Flood. Flood and Halo 2 have probably been, they have been considered the uh, scariest of the Flood in the Halo franchise. Because they were just so powerful. Not an easy, like what I'm playing on, but like, those people like to play through on Legendary and stuff. Yeah, speedrunners fi find and found a lot of ways to avoid fighting the Flood. And I don't blame them, they are scary. Alright, where are we at? Alright, we're coming up to the end of the gondola ride, as you can see right there. Switch back to Anniversary. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get off on this front, you know, little exit. I know some people like to get off on the sides and stuff and get on to this area. But, uh, really it's hard to miss this toy if you do it this way. So, we're coming up onto the, boom, 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 onto the end. And look at that, it was like literally exactly five minutes is how long the gondola ride was. Well, you want to come over here to this staircase here, and you can switch to your plasmas. And basically, you're going to nade jump from there to there. Now, it took me a couple of tries, but I think I'll get it this time. And I got it, of course. And you walk up a little bit, and boom! This is the Tartarus toy on the mission uh, Quarantine Zone. It's at literally the very end of the mission. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Tartarus right here. Boom, got him. And you're going to get the achievement. And for for the, for now, that's, that's all there is. Uh, catch back in the next video for the last four toys. And the reason I'm splitting it up into two parts is one, so I can have more content, and B because these were at the very these most of them were at the very beginning of the mission a lot of them a lot of the last four are in closer to the middle and the end of the mission and you know my personal life I got stuff going on today I can't spend all day going to grab all the toys again I grabbed them all last night on my primary account and I decided hey I, I memorized where they're all at so why not just uh, make a video about it anyways thanks everybody I'll see you guys again on ODST and grabbing the last four toys. It's two series you can look forward to. Mario!